Hey, this is Vadim Vilansky calling. Give me a call 416-712-1105. I may have some great news on one of the listings we were talking about. Have an amazing day. Fires, that's all it's all about. This business is about fires, right, Samantha? Mm -hmm. By the way, Samantha, say hi. Hi. How awesome this is, doing live vlogs that's what you guys wanted. You didn't want me to sit on the couch and talk and nonsense. You... Hi, Vadim Vilansky calling with Remax. Am I... Ting, it's okay. It's Vadim Vilansky with Remax. She is not looking to make an offer. It's perfectly fine because someone else will make an offer. All we need to do is just follow up with them. And that's it. If you ever wondered, how is my days? I mean, I've been going non-stop and you can ask Samantha, she is a great evidence, drying, just dealing with fires all day long because this is what real estate is all about. But I did get now some really, really good news about one of the listings my client has been trying to buy and it has been sold conditionally, but there is now a kick to it. The client who bought this home is not able to fulfill the finance condition, which gives me an opportunity to follow up with my client and see if they're willing to make an offer. So stay tuned with me as I'm trying to make this call. They're not picking up and I will continue calling because this is definitely some great news. Tell me, let me know how it goes, okay? Amazing. Thank you so much, Jenny. Have a good day, bye-bye. It happens. She double booked it accidentally. Things like this can happen, but it's perfectly fine because if she has the right buyer for my home, for my listing, that will be perfect. <laughs> and I'll keep on following up because that's what I would do. And now let me, I mean, if I was to share with you my screen, I have five different tabs happening right now, actually six things, different things that I'm trying to work on as I'm dealing with many things in between. But this is, this is what real estate is all about. If not Samantha, I will be like pfft, gray hair, similar to Ryan Serhant. But thank God I have a Samantha. <laughs> I mean, Ryan probably has a lot of assistants and yeah. client care managers and you name it. But still, thank God I only have three gray hairs. <laughs> Can't believe it's already September the 2nd. We're at the last quarter, so there's only four months Actually, wait a second. There's three months left. September, October, November, and then December is the time for me to take it easy and relax. Let me share with you how my day-to-day -day is going so that I can have a better understanding to show you and demonstrate to you of what it takes to become a top producer. In case you were wondering what my schedule for the day is going to be, let me share this one with you. But I did start with my morning routine, which I had meditation earlier today. Then I have, a, it was a Zoom meeting with my, my business partners, as well as the Shepherd office and all the other top agents at my location. Then now I'm heading out towards the listing photography at 7420 Bathurst. Guess I just made it to Remax Realtron at Young and Center in Thornhill, picking up some documents because when you have listing presentations, you're always, always need to bring in with you all the required deck documents. And then you gotta make sure that they are fresh, meaning there is no damage to the paper whatsoever. Because you wanna be professional. You wanna present yourself as best as you can. So I'm going to pick up some documents right now, and then I'm going to go to my meeting, which starts in about 45 minutes. So stay tuned. Okay, remember how I said the paperwork has to be crisp? Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. This is the listing agreement. And I picked up, I would say probably about 20 of the, 12 of those because September, October, November has to be a, a busy month. The more you pick up, you're telling you the universe that you're ready to sell. And this is what we do. Now, you're probably wondering to yourself, am I ever working with buyers? Yes, I am. But my specialty is working with sellers. This is where my core business comes from. With buyers, it takes so much more time and effort to get a deal done versus as a seller, people are working for you. The buyer agents are working for you. They're trying to sell while you're working hard to get the listing. Don't get me wrong. But the overall is that you want to be able to be the listing agent. And there is a saying, list to last. 
So I'm waiting for my photographer to arrive. We are going to do virtual tour, photography, drone, as well as a video, because in reality, this is what it takes to really succeed. You can't just list a property on MLS and expect it to sell. You have to go above and beyond and make sure that you're doing everything you can to showcase as best as you can the apartment your clients have. Whether it's an apartment, a house, it really doesn't matter, but it needs to be done very well and you have to take every single listing as professionally as you can. By the way, I know I'm going on a pretty fast, but keep it, stay with me because this is so important because this is the only way for me to share with you what's my day like as a top producer. Now, if you wonder, what do I use for electronic boxes? Why am I using those? Those are because of my safety of my clients. With those one, I know exactly when an agent opened it up because I get a text message and the client is notified as well when the logbox is opened. I know most agents are using the typical standard logboxes, but this is truly the way to go. This is the only way to go. If you have any questions, drop me a line below. Okay, so that I'm here at 7420 Bathurst, unit 1506. We're here with George taking photos, virtual tour, drone, anything that whatever it takes to sell the apartment for top dollars. And we're just doing it the right way. And you will see a lot of equipment. It takes some, a job like this it will take us about an hour and a half to two hours to get it done correctly. But that's the only way to do it so that it presents very well once it's live on MLS. Stay tuned, let me share with you how exactly we do it. Beautiful open concept. We have a fully renovated kitchen, high gloss white, with access to the balcony from both the living room as well as the master, or as they call it, the primary room. If you wonder what's your view like, you can actually see CN Tower, 15th floor. Okay, so I just finished two hours of videography and photography, virtual through, as well as a drone at my newest listing at 7420 Bathurst Street. Now I have exactly 20 minutes to arrive to my next listing appointment that is located in Vaughan. 20 minutes, so I better head out there. The new listing that hopefully I will get it. And again, it's not really hopefully, it really depends on me and my performance on what I can showcase to the client, what we can actually do for them to get the results done. So stay with me as I'm heading up towards the new listing appointment. Okay, so it's 3.20, just finished my listing appointment at a home in the city of Vaughan. I got the listing. There was a bit of a negotiation about the commission. There was an objective about the price. I showed them what I think the home is worth. They said, well, we think it's worth even more. Then I said, I don't think so. And let me show you why I don't think so. And the key is knowing not to overprice the listing because if you overprice it and if you overpromise to your seller to get more than what the actual home is worth, you're actually doing a disservice to them. So we had to go back and forth, back and forth, and I'll be sharing with you the listing itself. Okay, so remember how I said the next appointment is going to be at a home that I just purchased a few weeks ago for my client, and we're now doing a full renovations of it. Let me show you around. Let me show you what smooth ceilings actually look like. Yes, in North America, we have popcorn ceilings and we actually need to pay extra money for the builder to remove it. I don't know why, but this is the case. So this is appointment number four. Let me show you around. Okay, so we got into the home. So remember I was telling you about the smooth ceilings? Check it out. So before that we had popcorn and now, yes, it's a completely messy job, but it's part of it and this is what needs to be done. Then we will create complete smooth ceilings and we have the hardwood floors are being done on the second floor. Let me show you around. And we got this is our Hi rock star. Guys, how are His you name today? Is Anatoly, and he's probably one of the best. Ex. I don't know. He is probably the best. Probably, yeah, probably, yeah, probably. And he's also very, very modest. <laughs> okay, so I just finished my buyer visit showing. It is 8 p.m. and now it's time to head out downtown Toronto. I need to be there for 8:30 for three homes to potentially buy under 
2.5 million or so. I mean, if you're asking yourself if it's a nine to five job, real estate is definitely not a nine to five job. Once I'm done showings, it should be about 9.30, I have to head out back north to Vaughan, and then I need to work on a listing presentation that is coming up tomorrow. I need to load the listing, of which I took pictures earlier today, if you remember. And then I need to submit another offer on a home that I'm trying to buy with a client. So this is what the real estate is all about. If you're up for the challenge, you know what to do. Comment below if you have any questions. Let me show you the next property. It should be about half an hour from now. I'll be there. Okay, so it's 11 o'clock, 11 at night. I've been working since about 6 a.m. with between meditation, gym, and then going full force. 11 o'clock, I just finished up my showings in Toronto, getting home to start working on the listing in Bathurst, okay? As well as write an offer and get ready for the following week day, okay? So I know it seems like crazy and most people probably think to yourself, okay, like this is a nine to five job. I just showed you this whole day from the get go early in the morning that this is not a nine to five job. It takes a lot of discipline, a lot of work, but if you do put in the effort, you will clearly make the money. Again, 11 o'clock. I can show you right here, 11 p.m. And I'm just starting. There's like another probably two good hours of me working, productive time while my family is already asleep. I can get the work done. But the key is, and it's so important, I keep always talking about it. Make sure that you prepare for the following day, the night before. So that I'm going to sit down right now for the next 10 minutes or so, just plan out my day for tomorrow so that I know exactly what needs to be done and what are the outcomes that I should be expecting as well. Because if you don't plan out, you won't be able to succeed. Have an amazing day. Thank you so much for tuning in with me and just kind of having that experience of a real estate agent to kind of show you what exactly I do and what it takes to become a top producer. Have an amazing day and if you have any questions, you know what you need to do, comment below.